So if you have a micro bit that was not purchased from Feria Labs, you'll have to do a maintenance update before you can use it with Codespace. This gets the web USB support on there. So first you hold the reset button down on the micro bit while you're plugging in the USB. Of course, the other end needs to be connected to your computer and then release once it's plugged in. And then you'll see on your Chromebook, the removable device detected dialog and go to the help menu in Codespace and click firmware download. That'll bring you to a menu where you have a couple of links. Make sure you first click the maintenance link down at the bottom, which will download a maintenance hex file. Click show in folder. It'll bring up the file explorer on the Chromebook. So you should see the maintenance hex file and you need to click and drag that hex file over to the maintenance drive link that shows up. That represents the, uh, the flash drive that the, the micro bit appears to be in maintenance mode. So that'll copy over pretty quickly, and then the, uh, the micro bit will restart itself. So you'll see that little dialog, be careful. But it's just the micro bit restarting. And once it's restarted, it'll actually come back again as micro bit, which is sort of the standard appearance. So then on that firmware dialog page, click the micro Python link, which will download the micro Python hex file. And again, click show in folder, so now you've got a micro Python hex file. Make sure that's the one you're clicking on. Drag that micro Python hex file over to the micro bit link. So this is going to update the micro Python on your micro bit. It'll take a few seconds uh, for that to load in. And then once it's done, you just exit out of the file manager, go back to code space. And now you can click on the USB icon at the top and you'll see a uh, web USB dialog. So you can select the, uh, the micro bit connect and uh, you're ready to write some code and interact through your web browser. So um, welcome to Codespace.